Hey what's up guys welcome to fine gap youtube channel in this video i will teach you how you can create this type of custom checkbox using html and css only so friends video is going to be more important and before start please i request you to subscribe to our youtube channel to stay up to date with our latest videos let's start so friends first of all you can see that i have two files the one is index.html and the second is style.css and here i have created a simple basic html structure and inside this first of all i will give it a title like custom checkbox inside the body element i will create a label and give an id like ch box one and inside this we will create an input of type checkbox and we have to give the same id to this input next create a span element inside the label and here we have to use our icon i am going to use font awesome icon so i will click here and search for font awesome cdn click on the first website cdnjs.com and now we have to click on this icon copy link tag this middle icon and paste this icon to your head section now we can use the font awesome icons in our project so i will type here i plus fa regular fa hurt so you can see that here we have a hurt icon and a checkbox as well so we have done with our html code now open the style.css and type here star padding zero margin zero box sizing border box next we have to copy this body element and paste this element here and type display flex justify content center align item center and minimum height 100 vh and we have to link our this css file with our html so type here link relation style sheet and href is equal to style.css basically these four properties will bring the all content i means our this complete label exactly at the center position of our screen next type here background color this color code next copy this label element and paste this element here and type position relative width 150 pixel height 75 pixel background color type this color code next type border radius 10 pixel okay i am going to zoom in a little bit so you can see the output cursor pointer so cursor pointer will make our pointer this type when i will move my cursor over this label element next copy this label element and paste this element here and from index.html copy this input element and paste this element here and type appearance none so we want to hide our this checkbox next we have a span element and basically this element is the game changer so first of all we have to copy this and paste this here and from our html code copy this span element and paste this element here and type position absolute width 75 pixel height 75 pixel left zero top zero background color i will copy this color code and paste this color code here with the hash border 5 pixel solid and copy this color code and paste it here transition 0.5 second and next we have to make this icon at this center position so here we have to type 7 pixel px so now you can see that this is our border of this same color and here i have to type border radius 10 pixel so now you can see that these two corners are also rounded to make this icon at this center position type here display flex justify content center and align item center so you can see that our icon is at the center position next uh, just copy these two elements and paste these elements here and from index.html copy this i element and paste this element here it means that we are going to style our this i element so type here color white and font size 1.7 rem and next we have to set the own click listener to our this span element so what i will do i will type here label and then copy this input element the input elements appearance is none but still the element is exist at this position and because i have type here for and give the same id to this my this input element it means that wherever i will click on this label element this input element will be checked 
due to this for and this id so type here is colon checked type this sign and span left 75 pixel so you can see that when i will click on this it will get 75 pixel margin from its le left side and you can see that it is taking 0.5 second to moving from left to right side this is just because of this transition 0.5 second property next we have to do one thing just copy this and paste this here and type here i it means that what style we want to give to our this icon when our input element will be checked so that's a little bit tricky but simple so just type here filter we will use multiple drop shadow properties so type here first of all this value 5 pixel rgb you can use your own color code but currently i'm going to type this color code this is basically a little bit red color after this type space not comma type space and again type drop shadow 0, 0, 10 pixel and type here color white and again type here space and type here drop shadow 0, 0, this time make it 15 pixel and the color would be white so friends you can see that it will look like this when user will active our this checkbox you can change this shadow properties and to change the light of our this icon so friends you can see that we have completed our code i hope you must enjoy this video if you have any question related to this tutorial you can ask us in the comment section we will try to answer your question and please subscribe to our youtube channel for more videos in the future inshallah and finally thanks for watching